We need to draw a Mealy model state diagram of the sequential circuit specified by the state table below. So it's important that we have a state table, um, and then we have some definitions with Mealy and Moore. So we're just dealing with Mealy here, but Moore is also important to note. So with Moore, the output depends on the state. The next state depends on the input and current state. Um, we need to use more if the output means being in that state need the output to be in that state. Um, and then we have an example of a traffic light. With the melee, the output depends on inputs and the current state. So with more, it just depends on output and current state. Melee, it depends on input and current state. And then the next state depends on input and current state. Um, we're gonna use melee. If the output causes the state to change, we do not need to specify the output to be in that state. So more it seems to be like if we are um, being affected and then melee seems to be the effector. So we're going to be doing a melee model state diagram. So when we do this, we have to look at our present states and our next states. Um, first, with our present and next states, we're going to see that we have four kind of combinations. We have these, we're only going to look at the present states first, where it's 0, 0. We have these, where it's 0, 1. We have these, where it's 1, 0. And lastly, we have these, where it's 1, 1. So we can write these out. We're going to have 0, 0. We are going to have the next, which is 0, 1. And then 1, 0. And then 1, 1. And then if we look at our next state, we can see that these are going to be the same. Um, all of these in here are going to be what we have over here. So next, we're going to have to look at the inputs and outputs. When we write this, we're going to write it as um, x, y. I'll just uh, circle these, and I'll circle them in red. So when we deal with the outputs and the inputs, we're going to have x, y over z. And we're going to go from the present state to the next state. Um, it says that it means the state uh, need the output to be in that state. So we are going to go from the present to the next. Looking at this first one, we're starting at 0, 0, and we're going to the next state of 0, 0. So we're just going in itself, it's going in a loop, so we can just draw this like this. And our inputs are going to be 0, 0 over our output, which is just 0. So we have 0, 0 over 0. The next one, we have 0, 0 going to 0, 1. So we're going to take this 0, 0, and we're going to go to our 0, 1. And then we are going to write our inputs over our output. So our input is 0, 1, and our output is 0. Next, we are going to look at 0, 0, and then it's going to 1, 0. So we have 0, 0, and then we're going to this 1, 0 right here. And when we go here, our inputs are 1, 0 over 1. So that's what that's going to be. We're going to look at this next one. And for this next one, we have 0, 0 going to 1, 1. So we can write this as all the way up top, 0, 0 to 1, 1. And our inputs are 1, 1 over 1. Let's look at the next one. We have 0, 1 going to 0, 1. So this is another case where it's just going to itself, and then we're going to have 0, 0 over 1. Next, we're dealing with 0, 1 going to 1, 0. So our 0, 1 is here, and we're going to 1, 0 like this, and our inputs are 0, 1, our output is 1. Let's keep going, we have 0, 1 going to 1, 0. So it is the same thing as last one. So what I'm going to do, just to keep the colors matching, is write in red, and we're going to look at our inputs, 1, 0, over output, which is 1. We can just draw a comma here separating them. So we're going to have 1, 0, over 0. Next, uh, we have 0, 1, going to 0, 0. So our 0, 1 is here, and then going to 1, 0, it would be going, oops, that's really bad. We have 0, 1, going to the 0, 0 right here. Our inputs are 1, 1, and our output is 0. Next, we have 1, 0, 1, 1, 
like this. So we're going to be taking our one zero and then we're going to one one, which is right here. Our inputs are zero zero, our output is one. We're gonna do the next one where you have one zero and we're going to one one. So one zero is just going to one one. As a matter of fact, same thing as last one. So just to keep the colors simple, we're going to highlight these the same color and we'll just separate them with a comma and we'll do zero one over zero. Next we have one zero. So we have one zero going to one one. One zero is actually, wait, it's the same exact thing again. So we're going to have this like this and it's not a problem with the same exact thing. Um, we can just use a comma instead of drawing a whole new line. The inputs are one zero and our output is one so we're going to write it like this. Next we have one zero going to one zero so this is different. Um, this one zero is just going to be circling back on itself and then we're going to have our inputs one one over output which is zero. Next uh, we have one one going to zero zero. So we're going to draw these out and this one one is going to go all the way to our zero zero here. Our inputs are zero zero and our output is zero. Next we have the same thing, one one zero zero. So I'll separate with these with a comma, we'll have zero one over the output one. We have the same thing again, one one going to zero zero, but our inputs are one zero and our output is zero. Lastly, we have one one going to zero one. So we would have our one one right here going to the zero one here. And we would have one one over one. And that's how we would draw our mealy model state diagram for the sequential circuit with the specified state table below.